Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between plasma arc machining and ion beam machining. Plasma arc machining is one such advanced machining process where thermal energy, or heat, is primarily used to melt down and vaporize material from the workpiece. The ion beam machining process is another advanced machining process, however, its working principle is not based on thermal energy. Rather, it is one mechanical energy based process where momentum transfer takes place in atomic level. So, let's look into the basic differences between plasma arc machining and ion beam machining in a tabular form. Difference number 1 Plasma arc machining is one thermal energy based advanced machining process, whereas, ion beam machining is one mechanical or kinetic energy based advanced machining process. Number 2 Mechanism of material removal in plasma arc machining is a combination of vaporization and blowing away in molten state, whereas, mechanism of material removal in iron beam machining is sputtering, dislodging by bombarding ions. Number 3. In plasma arc machining, a constricted jet of intensely hot plasma is used to supply thermal energy for material removal, whereas, in iron beam machining, a beam of high velocity ions is used to transfer momentum for dislodging atoms from the working surface. Number 4. Material removal in plasma arc machining takes place in the form of vapor of the concern workpiece material. However, considerable fraction of the material is blown away in molten form, whereas, in ion beam machining process, atom, or a cluster of atoms, is removed directly from the workpiece surface. No such melting or vaporization occurs here. Number 5. In plasma arc machining, power density of the plasma jet is relatively higher, 10 to the power 2, to 10 to the power 3 watt per square millimeter, whereas, in ion beam machining, power density of ion beam is significantly less, 10 inverse 2, to 10 watt per square millimeter. Number 6. In plasma arc machining, plasma forming gases, air, argon, nitrogen, hydrogen, must be continuously pumped into the high pressure gas chamber. This gas gets converted to thermal plasma when it flows coaxially with the high temperature arc, and finally comes out of the chamber in the form of a high velocity plasma jet, whereas, in ion beam machining, a gas, like argon, is introduced in a vacuum chamber at a relatively lesser flow rate. This gas is then ionized by striking with energized free electrons, electron ionization. The ionized particles are then manipulated to form a narrow but high velocity ion beam. Number 7 Plasma arc machining process does not require a vacuum chamber for its operation. It can be operated in open atmosphere, whereas, ion beam machining process necessitates a soft vacuum chamber having pressure in the order of 10 inverse 3 to 10 inverse 5 atmospheric pressure. Number 8 Plasma arc machining process is associated with excessive thermal damage of the workpiece. It produces a wide heat affected zone, whereas, thermal damage in iron beam machining process is mostly neglected, a very narrow zone of atomic level may get affected by impact. Number 9. Plasma arc machining tends to deform the object owing to very high temperature non-uniform heating and subsequent cooling of a wide area, whereas, Iron beam machining process is free from deformation as heating is mostly negligible. Number 10. Plasma arc machining process is usually very noisy. So personal protective equipment, such as ear muffler, are indispensably necessary, whereas, iron beam machining process is not noisy. Number 11. Plasma arc machining can be used to cut thick objects, even up to 50 mm, whereas, Iron beam machining is not suitable for deep cutting. It is preferred for microfabrication, smoothening and surface contouring. And, difference number 12, plasma arc machining usually does not generate highly finished surface. Concerned roughness is in the order of 0.5 to 2 micrometers, whereas, iron beam machining is especially suitable for generating highly finished surfaces having nanometric roughness, about 10 nanometers or even lower.